Who doesn't like a good revenge story? All right, this is what this is. This this video is a revenge on some bowfin. Um, yesterday, I fished at this creek. I'm in uh, eastern North Carolina, and I fished this creek a few different spots that uh, Conrad took me to, and I lost at least seven, uh, six or seven bowfin. Um, I just wasn't prepared, wasn't didn't understand how to catch bowfin. I think I just wasn't ready for it. I've changed up my hook. I'm ready to set the hook hard. I just caught a little bluegill, and I got me a little chunk of bait, and I'm going to get a bowfin. Got about an hour before it gets dark. No weight on there. I got a um, 30-pound leader line on my, my one of my catfish rods here that I've been using. And um, there's, no, there's not a lot of flow to this creek. It's real calm, so I'm just going to let it sit out there, wait for one to really take off for it, and then I'm yanking on it. And try to get one in because oh I, I saw so many that they, they hit i saw them take off I, they jump out of the air come off they're just they're, they're tough fish to get and i can't i can't come this close and not get one in before i head back home which i'm about to tomorrow i'm planning on heading back to tennessee i'm gonna get one all right it's let's swim with it it's got it let's see let's tighten it up just a little bit Something took off with it and got me stuck already. Well, gonna have to cut the line. Maybe not revenge yet. So that was either a bowfin or a mudcat because it was just taking off real slow and then wrapped me around something really quick. So maybe I don't need to let him take off too much. <laughs> well, not a bow fan. It's hard to complain about this cute little bullhead here. I don't get them very often where I'm at in Tennessee. They're there, but it's hard to find. So, um, one bullhead and one snag. That happened like, like a minute after I put it in the water. So much, so much stuff in here. So, all right, little bullhead right there. Another one. Oh. Hmm. What I had there, I just must not have had it in his mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Take it, take it. <sighs> hey, I'm going way hard on this thing because I keep thinking I'm going to get a giant bowfin hit it, any, which could hit at any second. <sighs> but it's a little bullhead. It's actually, you know, pretty cool, but I heard they can be kind of annoying because you can catch a ton of these, which is actually cool i'm glad that i'm catching something because i i've been doing a lot of catfishing videos in tennessee recently or trying to do catfishing videos in tennessee and i've come up with not very many fish back you go Where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, boy. Oh, had me excited for just a minute. I thought I got my bow in. As you can see, it's starting to get dark and I'm just browsing Instagram and then, next thing I know, know my pole's bent down. 
I gotta leave here pretty soon. I don't wanna be here in the dark. Swampy, I hear things walking around in the woods back there. Not to mention that there's uh, bears, snakes, alligators probably in this area. A little bit of everything around here. These guys are cool though, I love these bullheads. Cool little catfish. Big old head on them too. What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, it's a big old bullhead. It's a huge one. Well, you can see it's getting dark. I'm gonna have to leave. But uh, this is my last bullhead. Look at this big old bullhead. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's got a pretty good size one. So I think four, four bullhead. And uh, so I'm, I'm coming back in the morning. So be ready. I'm gonna be back here in the morning. I was gonna head head back to like tomorrow, but I'm gonna hit here in the morning before I start heading back to meet up with another guy. And uh, let me put this bullhead back in there. And I'm gonna go to another spot where I lost several bowfin. And I just wouldn't get any bowfin action here today, but I'm gonna go back to the other spot and we're gonna get some. Be back in the morning. All right, Mr. Bullhead. It's not a giant, but it's a pretty good size one. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, there's my first bait fish. Took me a minute to get one. I had to go down size, really small. Now I got something to stick on for both in. Oh, oh. Wow, 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 that dude hit it. All uh, right, he's taking off. Yes! That's a bow fin. Stay on. Stay on. Mm. Come on. I need you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Dude, these guys are strong. Mm. Yes! Yes! Wait a minute. That's a catfish. <laughs> but that's a good catfish. Oh man. Wow, that's a good catfish. Well, I threw that bluegill out. It took about 10 minutes and this guy just took off with it. I thought I had a good bowfin. That's a good catfish. Um. I can't tell, but I guess it's a channel cat. He's long, but uh, oh, we're gonna we're we'll gonna wait on him real quick. But huh, I didn't know that there was this kind of catfish in there. He's seven and a half pounds. Nice fish. All right, seven and a half pound catfish out of this swampy water. Didn't uh, you don't know? You just don't know what's in these kind of waters. It's so crazy. Let's get you back in here. And hopefully, we'll, oh, don't splash me. Hopefully we'll get a both in. There he goes. Back into the black. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a fish, that's a fish. Look at him. Take a line, take a line. He stop? No, he's still going. I'm gonna let him take it for just a second. Hopefully it's not a catfish, but I'm ready for whatever. It's a good fish, it's a good fish. Whatever it is, I think. Oh, that must be a bowfin. I need to get one in. Yes, yes it is. It's a bowfin. Yes. Yes. Come on in. I need to get you in. Dude, that thing smacked. Yes. Oh, we got one. Oh, man. Look at that beast. Oh, look at this fish. 
that I've been trying to get. I know that they're easy for some people, but not for me. Look at that bowfin. Look at the mouth they have. Look how big their mouth is. And uh, I know they're, they got some nasty mouths. They got some little teeth in there. He took that hook pretty deep. He, got the, he definitely had the bait in there. Oh yes. And it's now, finally, I can put the title Bowfin Fishing. This is my second, I got one in Florida. That's my first ever, I got it and I didn't mean to get it. This is the first time I've actually targeted them and got one. All right, this one's six pounds, six ounces. This is the biggest one. I can't remember what the one weighed in Florida, but it wasn't this big, so. These guys are big old, just tough beasts of a fish. And um, let's get him back in the water. And that was like 10 minutes after I caught that catfish, so maybe I can get something else. <laughs> oh, success. Oh man, it feels so good. Ah, oh, I've struggled yesterday and uh, the day before uh, so man I, it's like it was so easy to get this one this time but i can't believe how many i've lost so we got one in and i'm gonna fish maybe another hour i really need to start heading back east a little bit to meet up with some other people for doing more fishing but i had to get this in here and i'm glad i came back i know i don't have to explain that i'm not an expert at bow fin fishing but this is what i i think i figured out at least the better way to hook them up I'm just using a small piece of bluegill there uh, with the hook in it at the top. Doesn't take a lot so far from what I've seen. Uh, and I'm just throwing it out there, get these fish to uh, just come by and pick it up. And I'm throwing it weightless too, so they can just, there's not really any current flow, just a real slight. So I don't have to worry about that like I would a lot of the rivers and creeks back in uh, my East Tennessee area. They're gonna have a lot of flow. So this is real calm, just sitting it out there, letting something come up and pick it and just kind of take it for a minute and then set the hook. Well, I guess I'm gonna call it. I was, I was so happy I got that one, and it was, I felt like a good one. I was really hoping to get, maybe get one more, so I probably fished about an hour and a 15 minutes, hour and a half after I got that both in. Had a couple little hits, and I just kept hoping that maybe another one hit. But it's time to go. I, uh, I did it. Got my both in. So uh, I don't know what it is about that fish, though. I, I really want to catch them now, and it's just, it just seemed real interesting. Of course, they live in these swampy creek areas, and. There's a, I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna look up where they're at. They're not, I don't think there's any within three hour drive where I'm at at least. So I'm gonna start working on that and trying to find some more. But I uh, definitely wanna make a back, uh, make a trip back up here um, next year, maybe in the springtime here in the Eastern North Carolina area. Just a lot of cool fish up here. I've been having a great time. And But I'm gonna head um, about three hours to middle North Carolina, fishing with a guy tomorrow. And hopefully we're gonna get on some cool stuff and um, the weather's supposed to be really nice. But I was using this, um, this uh, pin pursuit two combo, it's a seven foot um, rod. I think like a four thousand size reel, and I had set this up to come out here to do some saltwater fishing and also some other fishing, and, and it worked great for this type of fishing too. And I'm I'm also going to use it great for catfish uh, catfishing more. But I got this from a buddy, catfishing Chris. He gave me this, and I put forty pound braid on it, and I was using like a heavy um, thirty pound mono leader because some of the fish I've been fishing for have teeth. This, these bowfin, you don't have to have something real heavy, but in this this thick area, um, the, I fished this for two days kind of off and on, doing different things, and I got snagged a bunch of times. So I was wanting to get them out of there quick, and uh, those, those are really strong. And plus that, that catfish, was that seven and a half pound catfish was, was a surprise. So uh, man, I had a great time. Um, love catching different things and just, just exploring. Just I, I like all types of species. I'm not gonna say this one here is the only one I like to go for. I like to go for a variety of things and then you know each day I might want to go for something different so I love uh, just being out here in this area the swampy weird area there's there's lots of other fish in here that I just don't know how to fish for so a lot of this stuff is learning and that's why I like doing learning trying new things catching new fish well thanks for watching uh, I have probably a lot of talk in there but I'm happy to end this video out and go get something to eat